ALS. This is the autonomous launch sequencer on board the rocket. It will take over command and control of the rocket. But the ALS will check. Make sure Keep there's no calm. coming from the ground up until T minus two seconds. Let's go for ALS. And we are going for <laughs> ALS. And the carry on buying AI tech stocks as they deviate from the highs. Where the greater the deviation, then the greater Washington the buying opportunity presented. Keep calm and Sounds carry on buying under the ML. quantum AI. And here we go. Ten. Hydrogen burn off <laughs> igniters <laughs> initiated. Seven, six, five, four stage engine start. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis 1. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. All four RS-25 engines on the core stage and two solid rocket boosters now propelling the vehicle at 128 miles per hour. Hearing good good control on the roll from teams in Mission Control Houston. All good calls so far. Now 30 seconds into the flight of Artemis 1. Feeding the bear beast in quantum AI tech stocks. For some reason, most folks when looking at the charts focus on the high versus the low, as if investors only buy and sell at the exact highs and lows. Well, maybe the mania heard bought near the highs last year to sell near the lows this year, but most intelligent investors don't invest that way. I, during the second half of last year, I sold 80% of my AI stock portfolio in advance of this bear market, including warning virtually within a few percent of the high to get ready for a bear market during 2022 maybe even worse a crash that was on the 5th of december 2021 however given that the crash or bear market failed to materialize instantly the next few days uh, i then get contend with messages such as this humans are creatures of habit they do not like change they do not like it when a bull market changes into a bear market or when a bear market will change into a bull market since they fail to capitalize on the price drops and continue to form into the early stages of a bear market convinced that a final blow off top is just around the corner that they will then sell into just as many highly popular youtubers were posting at the time because no one wants to party to end so it never does as off they go on a off on a tangent looking for patterns to confirm their bias as is usually the case in the earlier stages of the bear market most were in denial as they clutched at straws waiting for their final blow off top to sell into youtube is a, it's good in a way that one gets to see just what is going on in the minds of these so-called analysts who talk themselves into the exact opposite view of where the market was actually heading however there are some clowns who just never throw in the towel and remain bullish throughout this bear market the flip side of the perma bears but still the likes of cnbc continue to give these blind fools their time cartoon network they should call it cnbc is the cartoon network so quantum ai tech stocks portfolio which brings us to this bear market where my strategy has been not to seek to buy the bottom. I don't know where the bottom will be, especially in individual stocks, because we will only ever see the bottom in hindsight. Instead, my strategy has been simple. has been to buy deep discounts in target stocks, which has transformed my portfolio from this in January 2022 to this today feeding the beast by buying the panic my exposure now stands at 85.5 percent invested 40.5 percent cash as of 3rd of october when this analysis was done remember to get immediate first access to all of my analysis trend forecast then do consider becoming a patron by just four bucks per month which will likely in the new year rise to five bucks per month so you can lock it in now 
at four bucks per month. Where 100% equals total invested in AI tech stocks plus high risk stocks plus all cash on my investing accounts. Such as Interactive Broker, AJ Bell, AI, Free Trade, eToro. Furthermore, since the start of the year, I have added fresh cash to accounts equivalent to 23% of the total value of my portfolio, including cash. That I will likely add more cash to during October. So if I had added no fresh cash, I would now be 108.5% invested, whereas approximately 40% invested at the start of the year. Therefore, during this bear market, I increased my exposure to the stock market by about 170% compared to where I stood at the start of the year. Bearing in mind that I sold heavily going into the end of 2021, as my articles and videos illustrate. Scouring my portfolio, what's left to buy? Let's see what's left to buy. What's worth buying in terms of the AI mega trend? The quantum AI mega trend. Yeah, quantum computing's 10 years in the future, but AI mega trend is today. And it's accelerating. So, the stock that stands out the most is Tesla. Thus, I took today's 3rd of October sell off as an opportunity to start buying small, an opening stake of about 5% in this target AI tech stock. Though it's still so darn expensive, trading on a P of 77. Why did I? That's too high. What if the stock fell to $200? That was still put on a P of about 60. I want to buy Tesla, but I don't want to pay a ridiculously high valuation for it. Ideally, I'm seeking something like $120 per share for a significant exposure. So if I'm going to overpay for a stock, then it should probably be the likes of Microsoft on 25 times earning. Then Tesla on 77 times, that's eye-wateringly high. Understand this, the smart money was distributing during the second half of 2021 as they cashed in their chips and then sold shorter during the first half of 2022, buying the dips while selling the bounces, the exact opposite of the retail crowd, as they saw answers from the media whores on the likes of Cartoon Network, CNBC, who tend to pivot in their views depending on whether stocks are trading higher or lower on that day, with the name of the game being to grab as many eyeballs as possible so the more dramatic the headlines, the better for ads revenue. The smart money needs a weak stock market, and that is what they have got. A weak stock market that has most investors too scared to invest with the likes of the S&P, you know, 3,000, 2,000, 2,000 being bandied around as targets, as if price levels are a done deal. No, it's not, you're not going to see 3,000 S&P, you're not going to see teen off. All whilst the smart money quietly accumulates near the lows. The smart money do not want the stock market to rocket high until they've finished accumulating and stocks trading near their bear market lows. Remember this is early October when I wrote this. This video is based on. Anyway, I put my money where my mouth is and should the stock market continue falling, I will continue to increase my exposure to target stocks. Note... I am not buying Cathie Wood Ted stocks. I am buying quantum AI tech stocks, virtually all of which will trade to new all-time highs a lot sooner than most can imagine today. You know, that's the, such as Broadcom, LAM Research, Amit. They might be downtrodden now, but in the blink of an eye, they'll be on a rocket ship to the new all-time highs. So, what do I care about the noise that is drawdown? As I have no intention of selling, especially when this is where what Sterling has done to the so-called bear market. Sterling's collapse. Liz Truss and Quaddy Mode appear a clown. Look what they did. What parity, I think it hit. What ridiculous. Uh, so, folks, keep things in perspective. The bottom is a red herring. At the end of the day, the only thing that will count is if one is invested or not. Because one thing is for sure is that when this bear market ends, i.e. stocks such as AMD stop falling to fresh dollar lows, then as soon as you blink, it will have rocketed higher by 
20, 30, 40, 50%, 60%. You won't know what's hit you. It's, they're going to move that fast. Leaving all those waiting on the sidelines for another dip to buy that won't materialize. And even worse for investors outside the US who will be looking at stocks trading at new all time highs. I mean, IBM was literally there a few weeks ago. US investors should count themselves lucky for they actually are getting the deepest of discounts on target stocks in the domestic currency, unlike folks outside the US who rely on tax free wrappers that don't allow one to hold any dollars. It'd be a lot easier if I just convert all my money into dollars at 140 and just leave it like and then buy, sell US stock. But no, you can't hold dollars in a nicer and most sips don't allow it either. I, I, I only know one sip, I, I, none of the others. What a joke. It's investing a lot harder in Britain than in the US. I keep getting asked that. What about XYZ company stock prices fallen by 80% or 90%? Is it now a buy? Well, the big secret to successful stock market investing is to buy companies that are growing and try to avoid companies that are stagnating or worse, dying. This is the problem with blanket buy the crash dippers. You don't buy stocks just because the stock prices have collapsed. They need to be growing. Else the 90% drop could turn into a 99% drop. Hence my AI tech stocks portfolio. And this video is merely an excerpt from my extensive analysis, truly extensive analysis. It's mega analysis, even from my standards, it's mega piece that concludes in a detailed stock market trend forecast into the end of next year, end of 2023. A detailed trend forecast that tries to map out the trend for the Dow into the end of 2023. That's that's why I needed to do the extent of the analysis. I had to, you know, to settle on a high probability trend forecast, and which was first made available to patrons who support my work. So for immediate first access to all of my analysis trend forecast, then do consider becoming a patron by supporting my work for just four bucks per month. That's nothing. Four dollars per month. That is nothing. And my forthcoming, you get access to all of my recent analysis apart from this mega piece. And the schedule of analysis includes uh, US house prices trend forecast that would be three year trend forecast. I already released a preliminary forecast, so I had to hit the po pause button on that to focus on the stock market. But I've done 80%, so I, I've got a rough idea where it's going. I just need to finish it and fine tune it. That'll be my next piece, mega piece. And then there's regular analysis, you know, updates on the state of the stock market portfolio. Then there's the global housing market. I'm going to do that about halfway done. Then we'll look at the detail, look at the British pound and US dollar, even though it is included in this analysis. I have done analysis of the dollar, which is important. And then I'll update the high risk stocks portfolio. There's two of them. There's the mid 2021 and the February 2022 portfolios. And I'll have a look at the crypto market. Is there any sign of life there? Is it is it falling enough? I remember when I did the analysis last year, I was looking for around 83% drop in the Bitcoin price. Has it fallen by 83%? The high was around 70,000, so I don't think it's got there quite yet. And then I'll have a look at gold and silver, though it's not top of my list. And for Christmas, a special, how to get rich. This is not some garbage. This is step-by-step -step guide of what you need to do it's not there's no easy way to get rich but i'll show you, i'll do my best to teach you how to get rich hardcore no waffle direct points step by step how to get rich that will be posted during christmas that's a mega piece that's what i'm gonna, I'm gonna probably update that annually you know as I add more stuff to it, because step-by-step -step guide. So for all of that, do consider becoming a patron by supporting my work for just four bucks per month to get immediate access to all of my analysis and trend forecasts. 
four dollars per month is nothing i do remember to subscribe to this youtube video for new videos gaining access to over 35 years experience right from before the 1987 crash straight through to this stock's bear market as we ride the quantum ai mega trend into the future